Well, hello everybody. Welcome to week 13 here in courts and uh, criminal uh, procedures. Um, first, we'll talk about the exams from last week. More people improved their scores than this exam than went down. We did have a couple people that had, you know, some losses on grade points, but for the for the overall, there was an improvement on the scores, so that's good. Uh, just some thoughts for the final exam, which is coming up in about three weeks. There are going to be 80 questions on it. It's going to be very similar to this one. Uh, their new material will be covered in 50 questions, and then 30 questions are going to come from the uh, previous quizzes over the first 12 chapters. So for the new material, I would highly suggest that you um, spend some time on the, the, the key term review. Take those terms and, and expand them out. Make notes on each and every one of them, including in your notes what you think may be on the exam, and then the page number where you found the information on that particular item. And so if you you, know, you take the test and, oh, that, I, I, I guess the wrong thing as to what was going to be covered on the test, when you finish the exam and you, if you have time to go back and check, then you can look at that page number in the book, get right to it, and maybe find the correct answer. That will kind of expedite things. So spend some time. If you spend you know, an hour or two on each uh, you know, uh, chapter, uh, it will you know, kind of help you when it comes time for the exam. Um, other thing that we've got uh, going on this week, we're going to be looking at chapter 13 on trials and juries. So watch the video, read the chapter in your book, take the all-important quiz before midnight on Monday. Keeping in mind, you're going to need to make at least, at least a 70 on this to go on to chapter 14. Uh, also keep in mind, you've got to watch the deadlines. I've got some students who are going to be losing grade points or grade uh, letter grades on their final grade because they're missing deadlines. So please make sure you get things in on time. Um, and the other thing you've got this week is the follow-up to your, your discussion post. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time this week to read your post because this is called, this has been a meeting week for me. I had five yesterday. I think I've got, uh, excuse me, I had three yesterday. I've got five today and I've even got uh, a, a deal going tomorrow. Uh, so um, hopefully tomorrow's meeting is actually a, 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 a hiring job fair that I've got to participate in. I don't uh, foresee a lot of time spent talking to people at it, uh, cause mainly because I don't have any job openings. Uh, so hopefully I'll get some good Wi-Fi and I'll be able to look at your discussions and grade some papers in some other classes and so forth uh, at the hotel, if, only if they have good Wi-Fi. Uh, but with that said, I will get them looked at sometime this week. Remember, you've got to do your follow-up posts before midnight on Wednesday. And, well, like I said, that's about it because uh, I've got about five minutes to go to my next meeting. So let me go ahead and finish this up, and we'll talk to you next week.